Hey guys, so today I'm back in my kind of old setup, I guess, because I want to film a makeup tutorial and this is my makeup area. For those of you who are new, my name is Alice, it is lovely to meet you. If you want to see more videos of mine, then click the subscribe button and give this video a like. I post new videos every Monday, let's just get started. Okay, so I seem to always do try to get ready with me's for family events. My mum's birthday is coming up and we have decided to go out this weekend for her birthday. I'm getting ready for that. The weather is quite rainy and drizzly so we're gonna see how this goes. What I'm planning on doing is quite a simple like mainly focused on face makeup and then with false eyelashes because I've been trying false eyelashes recently. I've only got one pair. The Ardell Demi Wispies which look like this and I love them. I think they're really really good. They are like quite cheap which is good for people who are like starting out but they're still really nice. Okay so first off and I'm going to use my Nivea Men's Sensitive Poche Balmers Primer because as we all know that is the only primer I have <laughs> and it smells so nice. I say that every single time I use it. Primer done. Do I put foundation on? Yeah let's put foundation on. Once again gonna take the only foundation I have which is the MAC Studio Fix Fluid in NW13. I'm gonna mix it with my Revlon Wake Me Up concealer in ivory. So I mix them together on the back of my hand and kind of dab it on my face. How we talk about TV programs? Started watching recently is a series of unfortunate events because I read those books when I was a kid because I love books and I really did love those books. I think I stopped when I got to about book seven or eight because I thought the stories were quite repetitive. It was always the same, like the Count Olaf comes in to wherever they are disguised and then tries to capture them and then he escapes at the last minute, blah, 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 and it was actually the same thing over and over again. So I never finished the book series, but the TV show is really good. It's got Neil Patrick Harris in it, who I am obsessed with. He was in The Smurfs and How I Met Your Mother. And then the guy who plays Lemony Snicket, who is the author of the actual books is i've forgotten his name but he's the voice of kronk from emperor's new groove which is like a kids disney movie that i loved okay so foundation is blended and i just used the buffing brush from real techniques to blend that in and then i'm going to put concealer on my dark circles and my spots okay so for those of you who don't know a series of unfortunate events follows the baudelaire children violet sunny and klaus who their parents um tragically die in a fire um, and they get put to live with their closest living relative count olaf 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 who isn't really their closest living relative he just wants to steal their fortune so basically the series is going to follow him trying to steal their fortune he becomes their legal guardian but he can't have the money until violet comes of age because she's too young i mean i'm gonna spoil this for anyone who's gonna watch the second episode basically he tries to marry violet um, in a play but then actually tries to do it using legal documents so that he can marry her and have her fortune um so he's super creepy like super super creepy well it's really good okay i'm using more concealer because i love my concealer i'm going to use the maybelline instant age rewind under my eyes and then the nars radiant cream concealer under my eyes and on my spots on my chin because i seem to have these spots that do not want to go away so yeah i'm watching that i think it's really good and i like that it's like a kid's thing but it's still interesting and like adults can still watch it i mean not saying i'm an adult but you know nearly 18 my battery is flashing nars save me from the dark circles <sighs> alice what you're playing at. I'm gonna set under my eyes with my Laura Mercier translucent setting powder and I'm gonna set the rest of my face with my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. Voila! Oh, and set your eyelids as well. Because concealer can basically act as a primer for your eyelids and we don't want that. Now actually, I'm gonna set this, put this around my mouth as well so I don't get like crease lines. Cool. The battery flashing has really put me off because I don't know when it's gonna die. And then Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. Oh, lip balm. Okay, and then I'm gonna use the Too Faced Gingerbread Cookie Palette from the Grande Hotel Cafe Christmas Collection. And I'm just gonna use the bronzer in here called Gingerbread. And I'm gonna use my Real Techniques Duo Fiber Face Brush. It's already sort of pinched. And I just kind of squish it together more to get more of a line. Because I don't want it really harsh, I want it more natural, but I still want that contour. <laughs> And then also on my chin, my jawline, my non-existent jawline. I have a lot of like jaw flab. Blend, 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 blend. 
Oh, I love my bronzer. Like, I really, really love bronzer. I love bronzer so much. Because it, like, has the power to change your whole face shape, you know? It's good. We are good. And then I am going to use the same palette and I'm going to take ginger cream and put it all over my lid. I really want to try using my Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade again, but it's like too dark for my eyebrows. But like it was 15 quid and I bought it and I really want to use it. I'm scared it's all going to go, excuse my language, a bit tits up because it's soft brown. And as you can see, like my roots are darker, but then I'm kind of blonder at the bottom. First of all, I am going to comb my eyebrows with the Anastasia Brow Wiz. This is in caramel. And this is great. This is like in summer, all I wore was this, just to fill my eyebrows in. Cause I, I didn't really wear any other makeup. I need a tissue. I'm so nervous. Okay, I'm gonna take the tip brow and then I normally put it like on the back of my hand to like make sure there's not loads on there. So far, not awful. I think you gotta be really careful with these cause like they're so good at giving that like really sharp like Instagram kind of eyebrow, but it's very easy to make it too dark, you know? You get me? You know what? Happy bunny! Hopefully the other eyebrow does not go too insane. Do you know what I think is because my roots are growing out a bit more, so my hair colour looks more like my hair colour, you know? You get me? So, as I mentioned, I'm going to be 18 soon, which, if you don't know, I live in England, and when you are 18, that is like the legal age to go and drink. Very excited, I'm very excited for my birthday. And also, for those of you who don't know, I'm a twin, so me and Grace will be going out on our birthday. So I'm going to tell you all my birthday plans, okay? My birthday is on the 17th of March, which is a Friday birthday. So we have school, our school finishes, at half two on Fridays. So we are going to finish school on the Friday and then hopefully go to the cinema and watch the new Beauty and the Beast movie because that comes out on my birthday. And as you may know, I am obsessed with Disney. So we're gonna go and do that and then have our respective boyfriends over in the evening for dinner and then have some of our friends over. We'll then all go for cocktails. Then I'm going to go out with my friends who are 18. We're all gonna go out to a club event that I'm excited for. And then on the Saturday, we're gonna go out with some of our other friends and like our boyfriend's friends. And I'm excited for that as well. Normally I work Saturdays, but because I'm planning on going out on Friday, Matthew has offered to work for, on Saturday for me so that I don't have to work the morning after, which is nice. And fingers crossed none of us will be working on the Sunday, which is good. So I am excited for my birthday and then my birthday present. Are you ready? For my birthday present, I am going somewhere. Where are you going, you might ask? Well, for my birthday, I am going to Paris. I know, I know, okay. So my 18th birthday present, me, my sister and my godmother and my mum are all going to Paris for a long weekend. The week after my birthday, we leave on the Thursday and then we come back on the Sunday and I'm, I'm so, 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 so excited. I'm so excited. I've only ever been to Disneyland Paris when I was younger and now I'm actually going to Paris and I can see like the Eiffel Tower and the Louvre. Louvre, I got Louvre. Louvre, Louvre. I didn't take French, but I'm so excited. I'm so excited if you haven't guessed. And then I'm just gonna take my Maybelline Brow Drama in dark brown, but it's basically empty now just to neaten those eyebrows. I am really excited for that. Like, cannot wait, excited. And then, don't hold me to this because I don't know when it's gonna happen, but fingers crossed, the week after that, I might be getting my tattoo. If any of you don't like tattoos or anything like that, then please don't comment anything because it's my body, it's my opinion on what I want to get. I'm not going to say what I'm getting yet, um, I might make another video on that separately if I get my tattoo. And then I'm going to take the Eggnog Latte Too Faced palette and use the blush, say, sh blush shade Peach Cobbler. I love blush in like springish time, I mean it's not spring, don't get me wrong, it's the middle of winter. Highlight. Everyone knows I'm obsessed with highlighter. I've even had to teach Matt what highlighter is because he did not know. And then I'm going to take my MAC Light Escapade 
highlighter. I like using this because it's quite a white type of highlighter and it means if I put anything else more bronzy on the top it doesn't just leave a streak on my face. It's good, it's good. Put some of that on my nose and on my cupid's bow and down my nose. Do I keep that as that though? No. And then I'm going to take the sleek solstice palette and with a really light hand I'm going to take this colour. I don't know which one it is. Which is more of a bronzy type thing going on. This is my favourite shade of highlighter to wear in summer. Highlight is done. Okay, so I've zoomed you in a bit because I am now going to do my false eyelashes. First I'm going to put some eyeliner on because I feel like that makes it blend a lot better together. So I'm going to start off using my Maybelline Eye Studio Lasting Drama Gel Liner, just the black one, with a Real Techniques accent brush. I'm going to go over the top of that with my L'Oreal Precision Super Liner. Okay, so this is my eyeliner. I'm really bad at eyeliner, but anyway, I'm just going to tight line using my Natural Collection Black Eyeliner. And then here comes the eyelashes. So these just came with a little duo eyelash adhesive thing. I'm going to take the eyelash off of the thingamabob. I started with my dodgy one first, didn't I? Oh, I dropped it. And then I put it in my tweezers. Get the eyelash glue. And then I kind of blow on it until it's a bit tacky. Okay, so then, oh god, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get this on camera, but we'll see. <gasps> no! Oh my god, I just ripped the whole thing off. Right, now we have a dilemma. The tweezers have glue on it, so it's taking the eyelash off of my eye. Oh, take two. I am not touching them anymore. Okay, next one. Not working. You know what, I never thought I'd be this person but I'm gonna have to bring my eyelash glue and a pair of tweezers in my bag in case anything goes drastically wrong. I'm gonna take my Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara to combine them all together so it looks less stupid. Okay guys, so I have to be really quick because I'm making everyone else late, but I've just put a jumper on over the top I was wearing before. This is my finished makeup, I didn't put any lipstick on it, I just left it as lip balm. So these are my eyelashes, they're not obviously the best because I'm kind of new at all this. But yeah, I hope you all have an amazing day, I love you so much and I'll see you soon.